Hello everyone, I'm Mark Pictures and I can't believe I'm about to say the following words. Welcome to picnic time. So for today's picnic, we are in Cambridgeshire at East Elf Lakes and it is a rather chilly early spring day. Temperatures are only just a few degrees. We've got a biting easterly wind and just a few moments ago we even had a few spots of rain. Picnicking doesn't get any tougher than this. Now for that reason I am so glad to be joined on this picnic outing by one of the picnicking greats and I'm really looking forward to seeing what tricks and treats he has in store for us. I am talking about world picnicking champion from 1946, 1951 and 1963. Yes, he really is that old. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to introduce to you Leon the Battenberg Bartron. That is why he is king of picnics. Look at that. I am loving the outfit. I don't know if you're an Italian ice cream seller, you've come to sell me some sausages, or you're one of those punty people that goes punting on rivers, but it looks amazing. Well, I thought we were going out for a picnic on the boat today, so. I'm sorry to disappoint you, <laughs> but no, we're not. You look incredible. Oh, thank, thank you, very you much. for coming. To Made this the picnic. effort, you see. Made the effort. Well, Made the effort. just you wait to see what I've got in store. Just you wait to see. So anyway, I think we should get some rods in the pond yep. and then let's get picnic Oh, picnic time. Okay, so Mark, the rods are out, you're out, I'm out, we've got our rigs out. You've fished here loads and loads of times, caught loads of fish. What tactics should I be looking at to use? What rigs, what bait? Tell me a bit more, what should I be doing? Does it matter? No, you're probably right, actually. Let's get a picnic out, yeah, shall we? That's more important. Cup of tea, picnic out. Definitely. meant to be having a picnic this <laughs> this was not in the script this is not in the script i'm hungry as well this fish is going crazy we could be devouring a pork pie right now instead you're faffing on playing a carp a glass of chardonnay or something he's a nice fish love the fish nice mirror scaly one. Oh, look at that a solid looking fish that lovely fish isn't it That's as solid as easy. solid as the pork pies i brought with me <laughs> There we go, right. Look at that. That wasn't that long, was it? Happy well, days. Awesome. Well Happy done. Happy days. Happy days, look at that. Well, it's better to catch it now than in the middle of the picnic. Very true. That, that wouldn't have been good picnic. It wouldn't have been at all. Would not have been good when we're stuffing so our really, faces. You've done us a favour there. Yeah. Get the fishing out the way and enjoy Get the done picnic. And enjoy the picnic. Lovely. Top right. Line. Well done. Well, here we are, first picnic, absolutely ruined. Cheers, Leon. <laughs> well, what can I say? I was uh, eager as you to get the picnic underway, but oh, what a lovely little, yeah. little mirror. We've got a really nice, chunky, chunky little mirror. It's probably about 12 pounds, something yeah, like I that. Yeah, I reckon so. About like the same weight as the uh, pork pies I brought with me. <laughs> They've gone hard now as well, <laughs> yeah. we haven't eaten them. So. But no, well done, mate. That's really good. Cheers, Top lovely. Man. But let's get him back and let's get picnicking. Yeah, happy days. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Are you right there, mate? A blanket on gravel. Oh. Well, not even gravel, it's what is it, road planings. It's not the one. Again, you should be prepared. That is, you really? This is extreme <laughs> picnicking. It's extreme right there. picnicking. It really is. So what what have you got going on? Let me have a look. I'm gonna go strong first. Mini Battenberg. Of course. Of course. I mean, standard, isn't it? Yeah. You know you ain't you ain't got Battenbergs, you ain't having a picnic. Uh, well, 
that's what Mrs. B said to me. She said, yeah. you've got to take Battenbergs or it's, it's not happening. OK, well, I've been to Kitson and Sons, which is the family butcher. So not off the shelf, this is be bespoke. No. And I have got... Oh, mate. A pork and black pudding pie. Mm, I think... I think you... I don't know. I mean, Do we need to cut into this pork and black pudding? Pork and black pudding? Pork and black pudding pie. I love black pudding. Look at that. That's a pork and black pudding pie. That's proper. Look at that. That's, um, yeah, I'm feeling that. That's a level I'm at. I mean, I've, yeah, I've got a bit too soon. I've come a bit too soon, haven't I? What have you got in there? Also from oh. Kitson and Sons, who, by the way, are not endorsing this Are you sure they're not all. sponsoring this? A massive Scotch egg. I can trump that. Yeah? I think so. In my little box of tricks. Come on then. Oh, hello. Hello, what's going on here? You brought pizza? Cream egg scotch egg. A what? A cream egg scotch egg. A cream egg scotch egg? It's a cream egg in there, chocolate. Okay, you've done me there. I've done you there. Look at that. That, 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 that is luxury. Okay, so... Come on, come on bring out the big guns. I, well, I have another pork pie. For the same people, by any chance? It's also from... Really? Kids. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, Did this... you go to one shop or something? <laughs> but this is a pork and apple. Pork pot pie. There's a bit of a pork theory thing going on here, isn't it? Undercurrent. There we go. See, there's something else that I haven't done. But I, I did this deliberately. I haven't brought any sandwiches to this picnic. I was going to do the sandwiches live in session. That's, mm, that's, is that a picnic, though? Yeah. It's a live picnic, live in session it's picnic. It sounds a bit like the calf. What, make, do you make your own sandwiches in the calf? Well, no, they do for you. But I'm making them you myself. You should be prepared. Prepare for your picnic. You've got to prepare. Well, I am prepared. I've had What's the crust. in them, though? I've brought bread with a crust already oh, removed. Oh, another level, isn't it? So that's that's the level of prep I've gone to. Another level. Crust, crustless bread, and I'm going to make live in session. This will be great viewing. <laughs> I live in session. Tesco's finest. Finest ham on the bone and... What, no Marks and Spencers? Peas pudding, ham and peas pudding, crustless sandwiches, cut into what triangles. What is that? I've never triangles. seen... Triangles. What is that? Just peas. That's, that's fee. filth. Peas pudding. Filth. It's not filth. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, while we are talking, I mm. thought... Any I... butter, though? You've got to have butter. Of course I've got butter. Lure <laughs> pack. <laughs> oh, yeah, OK, um, yeah. What I'm thinking, Leon, as it's a oh, special occasion... Right, look. I've got my cup, my mug, and you've got Don Monte diamond-encrusted glasses. And I've got a little bottle of uh, Prosecco, if you care, to partake. Is that so you can have your wicked way with me or something, is it? But I thought we could make it into a fox <laughs> fizz. I mean, a box fizz. <laughs> so... God, you... you... I'll it's... take it back. Yeah? You, you've definitely prepared a little bit more. Oh, it's not a poppy, it's a twisty. Oh, that's just... Oh, it's... I was going <laughs> to... That's just Celebrate me catching one and you not. Is that, is that well, really... that's what a picnic should be about. It's not yeah. about catching. <laughs> but it will be if you catch one. Maybe. <laughs> Look at that. It's special, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a special occasion. You've thought about this, haven't you? Yeah. You've really... I mean, look at the 60, 60 quid amper. 64 dollars amper. Not that but... I'm counting. But no plates out. We haven't got any plates out yet. Don't, I mean, don't worry about that anyway. So, uh, whoa! Just seeing if it's real. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to ha you. Happy picnic time. Thank you. Of course, that's lovely, that is. Anyway, so we've known each other a long time. A long, long time. A long, over 20 odd years, isn't it? Yeah, I first met you, I think it was 2000, so yeah, 21 years ago. Down at the Essex Manor. Yep. That's when we first met. Long time ago. And I remember the first. I remember the moment I met you for the first time. So it was the Essex Manor. It was the winter time, and I was in my bivvy. I was really ill, really ill. I had arrived at the lake, felt fine. That's right. Within, I a, within an hour of getting there, 
I was so ill. And um, turns out I had bronchitis and I picked I up a kidney now, infection yeah. as well. He wasn't well, was he? I was not well. And it was about two o'clock in the morning and I was laid there. Oh, I, I couldn't sleep. Everything ached. I was in pain. I felt sick. I felt awful. And I think I just managed to get, <laughs> just managed to drop off. It was about half past two in the morning or something. Never met the guy before. <laughs> I remember this now. I remember. Half past two in the morning, I think it was. And walks up to me, Bibby, get the kettle on me. <laughs> Have you got any biscuits? This is half two in the morning. Never met him. Comes round, tell me get the kettle on and get yeah. me biscuits out. I was pretty keen in those days, you know. And I knew then, I thought, wow, this guy has got to go far in the picnic world. He wants a 2.30 a.m. picnic. <laughs> Legend. And look at him now. He's here on this program with, with, with the, at the top of his game. With the attire on. Yeah. Like that. I knew you'd go far. With the cravat as well. Don't forget the cravat. I've noticed the cravat. Very, um, very Harry. Harry would be well jealous of he that wants pink this. cravat. So, should we delve deeper into the pits of your hamper? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> or should we play a game? I think we should play a game, then delve. I like a bit of delving after a game. Okay, okay then. So, it is time for quick fire <laughs> questions. <laughs> Don't laugh, it's not meant to be funny. So, it's time for the quick fire question round. So, you need to answer truthfully, okay, and quickly. First question France or England? England. Canal or river? River. Fish to the margins or cast to the horizon? Fish to the margins. Just give up or finish off by hand? Finish off by hand always. Neatly trimmed or wild and bushy? Neatly trimmed. <laughs> Play around up top or stick to the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Play around up top. Okay. Catfish or pike? Pike. Keep plunging it in until it goes soft or pull it out quickly while it's still hard. I just keep on keeping on. Where did you get these questions from? <laughs> Spread wide or nice and tight? Nice and tight. So, let's see how he did. Okay, the first question was, France or England? The question was, the Eiffel Tower is in which country? <laughs> You've answered England, <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately. That, but that wasn't the question. Unfortunately, that is the wrong answer I'll on this have a occasion. Drink. I'll be have a drink. Okay. The Grand Union Canal is famously what? A canal or a river? You answered river. The clue is in the name. It's the Grand Union Canal. These are trick questions. They're not. Fish to the margins or cast to the horizon? The fish are showing at range. Do you fish in the margins or cast to the horizon? <laughs> You've chose fish in the margins, <laughs> which is the wrong answer. <laughs> you didn't say that. Okay, just give up or finish off by hand. Your catapult's broken, what do you do? You put finish off by hand. That's the correct answer. Ah, good. I've got one right, at least. Neatly trimmed or wild and bushy, I'm obviously talking about the swims, if you prefer a nice, neatly trimmed, manicured swim or a wild, overgrown one. And you went for a trimmed one, which there's no right answer to that, but I'll let you have that one. Trick question. Play around up top or stick to the bottom? <laughs> talking about if the fish are feeding on the bottom, fizzing up, uh... you answered play around up top. The right answer was fish on the bottom. The fish are fizzing up and the I thought we were talking feeding, about something else. Feeding on the bottom and bubbles, so got that. Okay, catfish or pike was the question. The actual question was, of course, <laughs> which fish is named after a cat because of its long whiskers? You answered pike. The right answer is, of course, catfish. Clue again, it's in the name. A catfish is named after a cat. Um, Keep plunging it in until it goes soft or pull it out quickly while it's still hard. I'm obviously talking about dunking biscuits in your brew. Do you keep plunging in until it goes soft and breaks off in the bottom of your cup and ruins your brew? I should know this one, shouldn't I? And you I? answered I should that. Know, I should know this Crazy. one. Crazy. I should you know, know this one. You pull it out while it's still hard, always, and then put it straight in your mouth. <laughs> so. Spread wide or nice and tight, we're talking about a baiting situation. You like a nice, tight area of bait. 
I'm going to give you that. There's no right answer, but... So there you go. I think you did very well. You one. got maybe one or two. I, I, I lost I'm count. a bit disappointed about the biscuit question, because that's my... That's that is my, your area of expertise. That's my area of expertise. failed miserably. I think you need to come up with a new, something newer than biscuit of the week, because everyone's massively disappointed. Oh, hello. You need to... Oh, my God. Look at... Look at the... Look, look. I've gone, so what, I've gone what, large now, I've gone large. My legs are gone, see? I've gone large. So I've, what? I'm, it's all on the table now. So is this a pie? This is like a cr cookies and cream pie. A cookies and cream pie? Cookies and cream, yeah. Then you've got, this is my favourite, Nutella. That's a Nutella cake. Look, and, look, biscuit. Yeah, a biscuit on top of a biscuit. And Double biscuit in. Gold bar, with the old gold bar. You know the gold sweets bar. you get in there? Look at that. This honest, is luxury. You had me at cream pie. Okay, so what have I got to trump that? What have you got? Don't knock your no. fuck, uh, books for I want to start eating some of these. So, anyway, where do we start? Do I feel like I need to start making sandwiches? Make sandwiches and I'm just going to eat. I'm okay. just going to start eating everything. This has never been done before. Making sandwiches live. No, thanks. I'm good. Cheers. Making sandwiches live on the bank for a picnic. Uh, that's a world first. Especially crustless. Crustless. That's very upmarket, that is. And I brought the lure pack as well. Obviously. Oh, yeah, but it's not the full fat one, is it? No. It's the... Um... I'm on a diet. Yeah, I can see that's that. With what you brought. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like myself. What's that? It's peas pudding. You've never had a ham and peas pudding. Is You've never heard of it. Is that a northern thing? Is it a northern thing? Feel from it. Please, can someone answer below? Is peas pudding a northern thing, or do they have it outside of the north? I've never heard of it. I've You've never, never heard it. of it. I don't know. Can someone let me know in the comment section below? I've heard of mushy peas, but that's a northern thing as well. Is it? Yeah. Don't eat mushy peas down south. Ham and peas pudding. What that's... Is that? It looks like a load of duck fat. It's, it's peas. But peas aren't yellow. I think it's chickpea. Is it chickpea? Yellow split peas and pepper. And what? And what are you gonna? What are you... Ham, ham and peas pudding. That's it's wasted on you. This. It's not. It's, it's not punting food. It's not on the. It's legendary ham and peas pudding sandwiches. Everyone's doing it. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want me to prepare you one? Mmm. Very civilized, isn't it? Yeah, going this way as well now. Oh, quarters as well. Yeah, posh cuts. Yeah, for a sandwich. Thank you. I'm not giving you the plate, just take one. No, 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 I'm taking the plate. <laughs> so, yeah. what's it? Yeah. <laughs> no? No? Really? Well, you can't waste that. There's people starving <laughs> in the world. Oh, no! Picnic ruined! Oh, mate, there's a boil up back there. Oh, that's not good. Sorry, I'm really sorry. With a bit of luck, it might come off. Look at the boil up. boilage here. going on God, on the surface there, isn't there? Do you want me to try and knock it off for you? <laughs> Do you want me to try and, try and knock it off so we can get back to our picnic? <laughs> I will try if you ask nicely. <laughs> Look, it's trying to come in the net. Look. What's it doing? Oh, a little common. Is it? Yeah, it's common. It's, oh, a, oh, it's one of them. It's one of them. Uh, <laughs> it's one of them. Some scaly common <laughs> things. Look at that. Commons. What a fish that is. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. That's awesome, isn't it? Look at him. Look at the scalies. That's one of the nicest commons I've ever caught, Leon. I know. <laughs> Lovely common, isn't it? A scaly common. Yeah. <laughs> a big plated scaly common. Yeah. God, <laughs> oh, it's been eaten as well. That is really nice. That's lovely, isn't it? It's I'm lovely, absolutely it? buzzing that. That was worth interrupting uh, me, the picnic for. My cravat's flying around all over the place. I've got to re redo myself. <laughs> well, we need to have a look at him because that is a beautiful looking fish. Well, once again, a carp has crashed the picnic. Sorry about that, Leon, but I'm absolutely over the moon with this fish. Beautiful fish, isn't it? Lovely linear, what, about 12, 13 pounds? Yeah, more? somewhere like that. Lovely plated linear. But yeah, anyway, let's slip him back because it's yes. not catching time. This it's is picnic, picnic time. time.
We said it at the same time and everything. That's, right. That's great. Yeah. Well, if you're enjoying watching this episode of Picnic Time as much as I'm enjoying this cookies and cream pie, then please remember to subscribe and also click the bell icon to receive notifications as soon as a new video drops. So uh, what are you going for? What am I going to go for? First of all, I'm going to go for... Well, actually, no, I'm going to go for that one. The Nutella Bake It Post It Cookie. Giant cookie. Oh, it does look... There's only one amazing. of them. There's only one of them, so that's why I'm having it. So okay. you can't have it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty amazing. What happened? Oh, there it is. That, I've got my eyes on that. Uh, what are you going for? That Scotch egg. The cream Scotch egg. Cut cream, yeah. But before then, I'm going to go... Savoury maybe in. something first? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm going to go for this... A real Scotch egg. Real, proper... Not a chocolate Scotch egg. Scotch egg. Oh, and then that. follow oh, it look up. How, look out. Look how creamy that is. Yeah, that's <laughs> almost like one of your cream eggs. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like a cream egg. Kits and Sons, isn't it? You sure they're not sponsoring this? <laughs> they're not. <laughs> but what I'm going to do mm. to pimp up my Scotch mm. egg... Look at that, Nutella. ...is I have got with me Cartwright and Butler me that, traditional it? Yorkshire chutney. Oh, that's another level, isn't it? Traditional Yorkshire chutney. That's it, yeah. Don't hold back on the chutney. Oh, that's a bit I too think much. That's, I think that's a bit of you. Yeah. I think that's right up a... your street. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm, let's have a... Mm. I must ask you a question. Mustache me. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm loving the mustache. Oh yeah. Yeah. Special for picnic time. I'm loving it. I'm loving that mustache. Well, I did think we was on a boat today. But, as impressive as it is, can you drink a hot chocolate with whipped cream and mini marshmallows oh. with that mustache? Oh, I don't know about that. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know about that. I might have to pin it up. Oh, hi. look at that. Oh. You've done that before. Oh, my God. Get that oh, oxygen that in there. The bubbles, bubbles Get the oxygen, there. yeah. How come so I've only got half a cup? Because there's good reason. Is that so my tash can get in there? My mustache can delve in and drink as well. <laughs> so. Oh, you've got. Oh, look at you. No expense has been spared for, for the old. A picnic. <laughs> what an action. Oh my god, that's gonna. That's heart attack material, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna end well, is it? This is, is not going to end well. There you go, let's get your chops around that. Jeez, what have you Can done? Can we get a close-up of the tash in action? Oh, you're dribbling. You're... <laughs> <laughs> do, do, I, how, do you eat this drink it? You or? drink it, get stuck in. It's worrying me. You're making a... I might be able to breathe. That's what that's what that's good. That's the one. That's that's the one. Yeah. That's yeah. Ooh, <laughs> it's up my nose. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, I won't go quite as heavy on my whipped cream. That's not good. <laughs> it's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> what have you done to me, pictures? Well done. That was good. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. Put up my nose. I can see. <laughs> Got a paper towel. By well, Kitson and Sons, by any chance, aren't they? <laughs> uh, I've got some rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket legs around my face. Oh, grab, a, just grab a handful of rocket. That'll clean it off. <laughs> Something's growing on me. Uh, Look. Uh, <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> Mrs. B's going to be wondering what I've been up to. Uh, That's a good hot chocolate, though. What is it? It was, again, by Green and Black's organic hot chocolate. 
I have to say at this point, green and black's in Norway endorse <laughs> this program. <laughs> Have you got anything else coming out of your picnic hamper? I've got the trump card. The trump card? The trump card. This is like, and all the viewers, they will agree with me. It doesn't matter what we've done. This is the biscuit. Not any old biscuit, the biscuit. Okay, let's see it. That's the greens. Oh, you've really... Number one in the UK. Says who? Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Really? You cannot, what, what beats, what trumps, what beats a custard? Battenberg, so much yesterday. Well. Custard cream is a classic, look. Uh, it even says crunchy and smooth, like you. Carefully baked to a classic recipe with a delicate vanilla flavour. Oh no, what have I, you got there? Don't I tell me, Cartwright and Butler. Cartwright and Butler, butter old crumble biscuits. Mm, old, did it say old? No, oat. Oat crumble biscuits. I don't Cartwright know. and Butler. England. I mean, does it trump custard creams? I, well, only one way to find out. Well, we have got to try these, haven't we? We've got to try new things. This could be a new. Very oaty. Clues in the name. <laughs> this could be your new biscuit of no, the week. Not a chance. Really? Custard creams. Oh, well. They're pretty good. They are very good. good they are round. very good. But they're not a custard cream. Come on. They are, they're near. Do you know what? Dunkability. I thought you were going to give it the biscuit of the week. Can we do your biscuit of the week while you're here? Well, that's what we're doing. And we with this one. Is it, is that, so go on then, give us a verdict. Very good, but it stays together, mm. keeps its texture. Mm. And the actual hot chocolate doesn't take away from how good the biscuit is. Mm. And the dunkability is, look. So the actual flavour of the, the flavour of the biscuit isn't overpowered by the flavour of the chocolate. That's, a, doesn't that's make, a strong biscuit that can do doesn't that. Doesn't make it soggy, doesn't make it. It stays intact. Right, any more games? Or oh, how about your sweet? I mean, you've had your, you've had your main course, your middles, and then what are you going to have for afters? Before that, there's something very important we have to do. Go on. And that is play. Mustache or no mustache? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you think this is a mustache or not a mustache. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah, First picture. First picture. Mustache or not a mustache? Not a mustache. You ready? Yeah. Ooh. It's a horse. Ass. It's a horse's <laughs> ass. Well done. I knew I'd recognised it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You got that one right. Are you ready? Yeah, go on. Number two. Moustache or not a moustache? Not a moustache. Not a moustache? Not a moustache. Not a moustache, you say. Zoom out. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I recognise that as well. It's an alpaca. An al who? Alpaca. An alpaca. Are you ready? Go on. You ready? Okay. <clears throat> Picture number three. Mustache or not a mustache? <laughs> That's a more difficult proposition, that one. It reminds me of something else. Okay. It's a master. It's a mustache on someone else. On something else. Okay. So you're you're going gonna, with moustache. I'm going to go 50-50. Can I call a friend? No. No. It is that. Exactly. It's a moustache. You got it's it right. Problem. You know a moustache no matter what species it's on. You can identify That's a proper moustache. That's what this is going to be like. Mm. Really? Yeah. You certainly know how to identify a moustache. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You're trickier this one, I think. Oh. You ready? Moustache or not a moustache? Moustache. You've done it again. Boom! It's a monkey with a moustache. See? Connoisseur. Do you know? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. The last one. Oh, no, no, we've got two more, sorry. Oh. Okay, so two more. Good game. Keep it going, keep it going. It's okay. Get involved. I hope you're playing at home, everyone, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Is that a moustache or not a moustache? Not. Maybe. Yes. No. Could be. Might be. <laughs> moustache or not a moustache? Clue? You got a clue? It's either a moustache or not. Oh, it's what, it's that, that's the clue. Um, not a moustache. You're good. You're really good. It's not a moustache, it's the camera microphone. <laughs> well done. I, One I, more. I wondered. I One wonder. more. Is that a moustache or not a moustache? Not. He's only gone and done it again. It's Tom's dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great game. That, I wasn't I, keeping score, but I think you did I pretty well. Right. I think you got everyone everyone right. Everyone right, I got. That's incredible. No one's ever done that before. Well, we'll see who comes afterwards. No one has ever done that. A moustache or not a moustache? Is this the first moustache? It's the first it's one. First but one but no though, one's ever it? done that before. <laughs> so so far, we haven't really talked about fishing, have we? Really. No, it's been quite good, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you been doing during this lockdown period? We've been able to do days. Have you um, been getting out, out in the bank? Doing a little bit on days, a little uh -huh. bit, but I mean, I like to try... Oh, that's good. It's good, isn't it? Proper good. Mm. It's next level, isn't it? That's so calorific. But it's good, though, isn't it? You can have, mm. you won't want two or three of them. One will do you just nice. That is great. It's good, isn't it? Uh-huh. It is good. So, what are saying? Well, I've been doing a little bit of days, but I'm more of a, I like to get into a session, like 48 hours or overnight. So obviously, we can't be then be able to do those. But I'm doing a few day sessions locally and bits of peace, but just work. I've been so busy with work. And okay, what's that entail? Um, well, just me doing my subscription service that I started up last year. It's been really good. You know, doing the live streams. We do live stream every week, yeah. video every week, prizes every month, that type of thing. Do you want to give that a plug? No, 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 no. Okay, no. good. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you mean, well, give the plug? No, <laughs> no of course. But um, yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's done really well. And the people love it. Good. You know, vlogs and. I've watched a few of the videos as well. Yeah, and I've really enjoyed watching them. Yeah. It's just normal. It's just normal guy going fishing. Oh, this is not comfortable. They should make a padded. A Whoa. padded picnic you, you blanket. Should, you should be a bit more prepared and get yourself a, a stool, ah, shouldn't you? A padded picnic blanket. <laughs> That's it. Why has no one ever thought of that? There you go. Exactly. It takes a professional picnicker to come up with something like that. Yeah. Kitson and Jones, they might be, and Sons, they might be interested <laughs> in, in <laughs> <laughs> So who else have you got on picnic time coming up? Ooh. Well, can you say? I don't think I can say. No, it's, um, it's a hard act to follow, isn't it? It certainly is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know, I can't think of anyone that's got a better moustache than you. Oh, I don't know, I was going to say something then, but it would incriminate me with my missus. Mm. Might as well own. <laughs> so, I don't know, but let us know in the comments below who you would like to see on the next episode of Picnic Time. Mm. You are my picnic idol. That's a television programme. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's another series. <laughs> Once we're done with this, Picnic Idol. That's happening. That's happening. <laughs> but how do you think I can up my picnic game? Well, um, just got a nice rowing jacket or smoking jacket a might smoking be the one. Smoking jacket. Nice smoking jacket, maybe a pipe. A pipe. Pipe a or pipe a, and a smoke. fat cigar. Cuban. Okay. Yeah. Chinos. Yeah. And uh, maybe Chinos and espadrilles. Espadrilles, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Pic picnic bag is 100% up, up to yeah. scratch. Uh, I mean, you can't really get any better yeah. than that, can you? I mean, I'm honest, I was slightly disappointed. Well, very disappointed with your bag. Yeah, but it's what was in the bag which matters. You yeah, see. you've done well. You've done well with the pizza box full of, of <laughs> cakes and biscuits. That was good. But no, it has been. It's been brilliant. An amazing. And we caught picnic. a couple of fish as well. Yeah, don't talk about them. They they let the, let the picnic down a little bit. We don't talk about the fishing, not on a picnic. But it has been an amazing picnic experience. One of my best picnicking experiences to date, if not the best. The, the only one you've been on though, isn't it? It's the only one with a blanket. <laughs> so, yes. And probably the last 
because my feet, I've had to <coughs> get in some weird <coughs> positions amputated, probably. to get my to get the yeah. blood flow back well, to my feet. Come prepared, you know, your tyre and a nice seat. Yeah. No, thank you so much been for an absolute pleasure. joining me on Picnic Time. I really enjoyed it. It has been my pleasure too. Much anticipated this was by everyone on social media. Yeah. And so. I hope everyone has enjoyed watching yeah. this as much as we have enjoyed Yeah, really enjoyed it. doing it. Oh, that oh. almost ruined it again. <laughs> almost you almost ruined the end of Picnic Time. Yep. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Picnic Time. I hope you've all enjoyed watching it as much as we have filming it. And remember to write below in the comment section who you'd like to see on the next episode. And I'll see you all then.